Hey guys, I've got a lithium ion battery, lithium iron, sorry, phosphate battery, and it is currently temperature, look at that, 20 degrees. However, I have a Vatrer battery sitting down here, and let me show you, let me show you the difference. So this thing here might be dead on, might not. So, so it's 24 degrees in the battery, so it's still in the cooling down. We just now dropped down to 20 degrees in center of Texas. And that's what we got. But what do we got on the Vatterer battery? We have 39 degrees. Why do we have 39 degrees? Because it's a self-heating battery. So it's a lot warmer. And I threw a couple of towels over the top of it. So it's a lot warmer. See, temperature out here is, let me get on this aluminum over here, 19, 17 degrees. So even that thing there isn't keeping up. And this one here is slowly cooling down. But check this out. nothing so i need to pull it out well i disconnected it so that in the morning it will not charge because right now it's almost nine o'clock at night and let's get this battery pulled out because it can't stay out here in the cold but what can well the batterer can but so can another battery that we ended up buying with our final payment on the solar install let's go see it all right, I'm so impressed with the brand, this brand of battery, that I had to get their new one. So that's a Tim God. I am, I'm very impressed. I will put a link below the video to this thing. Now, if you own an RV, and let me show you something real quick. Back here in my storage room, I have a RV furnace. It exhausts into the big open shop area, but it is ducted into my whole building. It's a 30,000 It's a 30,000 BTU and it is impressive and it's also 45 years old. Still working. So, pardon this. Look at that. You see that big burn? That is a piece of conduit that got cut with a uh, cut saw. So if you see that on my hand, you're like, that's a ringworm. No, I chopped a piece of three-quarter conduit with a saw, and my hand went down and hit, and it was very glowy hot. So back to this. Sorry about that nasty thing. If you have an RV, small off-grid cabin, you're never going to get that thing heated up if you have a 12 volt furnace or DC furnace like I've got, you just saw. Except this one is the newest Tim God. And I have been waiting. I personally have been waiting for this. Now, y'all know I like the LI Times and these, but the price and the features. So now, to put a couple of these lithium ion iron batteries outside I wanted to make sure that I could see the displays on them so I could check these okay these are the, these batteries that battery there and it is a sun gold and I'm not deeply impressed with it but it's decent however that battery is not capable of the cold if you've seen the display is off because it's a off battery and and trying to charge it in the morning it would get damaged however i have all these salvaged batteries up here going into big bus bars and they along with that battery and the vatra battery are part of my lithium and lead acid combination yeah here quickly they're all connected to each other and as the voltage in other videos, I'll show you some about this, but this is what connects them. Three things of two gauge, I'm sorry, two, two, and one gauge is what's powering the connection between lead acid and lithium. That's, that's it. No, no special chargers, two and a half years, no problems, okay? So we're going to take this new Tim Got, which I have charged. There we go. And it is fully charged. And has never been cycled. This will tell you everything that it's done. See? Well, one cycle. I, I ran a test on it. But 
uh, other than that, and we're going to be bringing it back in and doing some heavy load tests because this has got a 200 amp output, 300 amp hour battery cells in it. Okay, so it's just, it's all 150s to make them what they got, but pretty decent on the balance. It's got one higher than normal, but that's going to be until it's been cycled three or four times. Then we'll check and see if there's any issues, but otherwise, no. But it's a heated battery, and that's what I need. So that's what we're going to get pulled out. So you'll see right here where it says 12300H heated. Okay, so we'll get this thing out. Alrighty, and there you go. There's your specs on it right there. Low temp cutoff, protected, self-heating right there. No such with this sun going. No such. Can't do it. Won't do it. In fact, let's see if it's been in the shop long enough, if it's turned itself back on. Now look, it's warmed up enough to turn itself back on. So now it's showing it's 13.3. As far as power... Yes, 200 amp hour, 200 amp BMS, and it, it exceeds the 200 amp hour. It's quality, but it's not heated. All right, so let's drop this thing into that 20 degree outside temperature, and we'll take a look at it again, like we did with the Vatra battery, which I can't afford another one of those. Man, that broke me with this thing. So let's get it hooked up. Okay, now we've hooked it up, and you can see that these batteries... It's dark, so these batteries have been losing some of their charge. And by the way, if you don't believe, there's lead acid. There's lithium. Yeah. All right, so if you don't believe that, that really works. Um, so it's pulling 51 amps right now. 53, 51.3 uh, amps right now. 50. And as the bat batteries start to balance, it'll do its thing. And look at that. There's the temperature gauge. 67 degrees, 68 degrees. So the batteries are warming slightly as it's pulling amperage load. And then we're going to be back here in just a second. We're going to see if this battery is still hot and live. And these kind of temperatures, it's now 19 degrees or 18. So these lead acids don't care. They're, they're fine. But these things, whew. so... And we'll do that. We'll cover it up. And that's just a smart way of doing it. And so it don't use as much wattage. It will use wattage. It's going to use about 60 watts of its power to stay hot. That's not a tremendous amount when you think about the fact that you can get into your RV, your camper, your tiny house, or even your home and fire up a furnace and start heating your home. If it was off like that sun gold just was, you got nothing. You got nothing. So this is every reason in the world. Right now, a huge snowstorm is going across the Midwest, and there's going to be five to eight inches of snow hitting Texas. Yeah, south, south, yeah, not good. So that had to be changed because that is a reality. All right, we'll be back and show you the result of that. All right, so still out here in the very, very frigid cold, and we have a, it looks like about 17 degrees. Now, a lithium battery like you saw with the Sun Gold, 17 degrees ain't going to work. But, but does this one work? Whoa. And look at the temp. 61 degrees. That's battery temperature, of course, inside. 81% discharging. Now, that is not because the heater element's inside, okay? That's not related to that. But you will see the temperature. Hold on here. Let me get it where I can focus it on there. 50 degrees. 50 degrees on the case. Let's get back here. 47 degrees. Now, it's getting cold really quick on the case. So roughly 50 degrees in temperatures out here that, if we can even do that, hold on here. The lead acid batteries are still warm, 
This is why you do that. Everything else is still losing heat. This temperature all happened. It dropped from 44 degrees to this in less than three hours. This battery will be awake and ready to give you power in the morning to run the furnaces and inverters. It's the only way to go. So I don't like having to put some outside, but they're too big to fit inside. And I had this space where I had eight GC2 batteries set in here, similar to these, but a different brand. And they were six or seven years old. And I replaced them with 300 and 440 amps. So 740 amp hours, which is more than twice the capacity that those batteries had in the same, actually in a smaller space. They're still six inches there. I could uh, get with the narrow batteries from uh, same company. They make a narrow one real narrow and I can get the same one put it in here and do the same thing jack it up another 200 I think those are 220 amp hour so guys heated batteries have their use and I suggest the Tim got because just just because how good they're built they are a really well and you can see other people lithium solar uh, Brad Cagle these other guys out there they will show you the same they're just a really good built battery they are the Chevrolet in the battery market. Durable. All right. Good.